Good evening, YouTube. There was a parliamentary by-election a couple of days ago on Thursday in the constituency of Oldham East and Saddleworth. The by-election was caused because the uh, election at the uh, the general election was ruled invalid because of various things done by Phil Woolass, uh, the the incumbent Labour MP at the time. Uh, he was then deselected and banned from standing again basically for lying about his opponent. Uh, there's a link to my video about that in the doobly-doo. The headline result is that Labour won. The Labour candidate Debbie Abrahams got 14,000 votes. Elwyn Watkins was the runner-up for the Liberal Democrats with 11,000, and Kashif Ali from the Conservatives uh, only got 4,500. The, so the headline is that Labour won. And on the face of things, the Liberal vote held up and the Conservative vote collapsed. If you look into it a bit more, it seems a little bit more complicated than that. There was a poll by Populous shortly before the election. Uh, it was actually commissioned by Lord Ashcroft from the Conservative Party. It's linked in the description as well. What that suggests on voting intentions 10 days before the election is that 18% of people who had, been, who had voted Liberal at the general election 2010 would switch to Labour, and 22% of those who voted Tory would switch to Liberal. Tories being the Conservatives, another name for the same party. Now, whenever there's a by-election, there's always people trying to work out if it's significant or not, what does it mean, how does this play out five years down the line at a general election, and it's usually a load of nonsense, because you can't make predictions like that. There are a few things we can draw from this election, though. Labour had to win this election. They, they should have done. It's been it's returned a Labour MP since it was created in 1997. Looking at it socioeconomically, it should be a Labour seat. Uh, moreover, it's a second-order election. People know that it's not going to affect the balance of power, so are much more likely to cast a protest vote. Uh, that having been said, because it's not as important, turnout was down as well to 48%, uh, whereas previously it had been around 70. So Labour would have expected to win the seat, and indeed they did, in fact with a larger majority than when it was created in 1997, even though it was a much smaller turnout. As I say, it looks like the reason the Lib Dem vote held up is because the Tories were in third place beforehand, and a lot of their votes switched to the Liberals, um, while lots of Liberals switched to Labour. The right wing of the Tory party are unhappy. They've never been that comfortable with the coalition. But there are accusations going around that the Tory high command deliberately soft-pedalled the by-election because the Liberals had to be seen to do well, so they had to come at least second. Otherwise it would have damaged the standing of the Liberal leader, Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg, and could have hurt the whole coalition. Of course, the, the Conservatives don't have enough seats to form a majority government alone. So, the Lib Dems look to have been squeezed and kept up and were kept alive by tactical voting by Conservative voters. The fact that the Prime Minister, leader of the Conservatives, David Cameron, said at the beginning of the campaign that he wished the Lib Dems well in the election and the perception that the campaign was low-key and crucially didn't attack the Liberals it was seen as by particularly people on the right of the party as being an almost an, an informal non-aggression pact. That uh, has, I think, quite a few possible effects downstream. One is it will make Liberals nervous. They can see already that they're being damaged and profoundly damaged to the tune of perhaps a fifth of their vote by the coalition with the Conservative Party. Similarly, the Conservatives, if current polling is to be believed, polling is always more of an art than a science, are behind Labour and wouldn't be able to form a, a government at the next, party, uh, the next election if the current polls stay where they are. 
And so they need each other, but there are groups on both sides that are unhappy with the situation. And so it seems there's going to be a lot of tension. One of the results of that will be Nick Clegg trying to mark out clear yellow water between the Liberals and the Tories. Yellow being, of course, the colour of the Liberal Democrat Party. One of the issues that might be is going to be a proposed tax break for married couples. Now, it'll come as no surprise, I think it's ridiculous, but it's something which the Tory party, generally, and the Tory faithful, are very keen on. Liberals, you would expect to be less so, because being a slightly more, quote-unquote, left-wing party, they're less concerned about the traditional family, whereas the Conservatives want to be seen to support even if it's only to a small amount, the traditional family, uh, a married husband, a husband married to a wife, and so on. So that may be, although not in the grand scheme of things that important, the tax break not that big that's being proposed, it may be that that is something that is used as a marker to show that there is a difference with the Liberals. So something to look out for. Mostly it shows, though, that there are real tensions within the coalition. A few final notes. Um, the British National Party, a racist party, or the main racist party in the UK, lost their deposit. They'd actually done quite well in Oldham before. In 2001, they actually got over 5,000 votes, and they've had some success locally. There have been racial problems in Oldham, in that area. And so to see them particularly when, as it's a second-order election, people generally are more prepared to support minor parties, to see them actually lose ground and really not do very well at all is, is very good. There's another nutty fringe party called the English Democrats. Um, they didn't do very well at all. They, in fact, got one vote less than the official monster-raving loony party. So, that was the Oldham, Oldham East and Saddleworth by-election uh, from Thursday. Something that Labour had to win, you would have expected them to win. They did win reasonably comfortably, but not overwhelming. The main issue, the main takeaway is that there are a lot of people within the Conservative Party who are very nervous about the prospect of any sort of, even if it's informal and unspoken, non-aggression pact between the Liberals and the Tories. I'm Landon Cole. I'll see you next time.